Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Summer Family Let's Play. I'm excited, second episode. So if you haven't seen the first episode, the link will be down in the description. And there will also be a link to the playlist. Uh, so you can see the creative sim for this family and also the first episode. And today we're doing the second episode. And I'm sort of diving into like a more story telling style of filming this so you might see some compilation stuff that isn't necessarily like me talking with the voiceover just some music and some images and all of that you'll see what i mean <laughs> there'll be more editing involved in this part the first part was just a little bit of um i guess an introduction sort of seeing where the characters naturally want to go i don't really like forcing them to do something so I do have like a general script to this, where I want the storyline to go, but I don't really like... Um, well, how do you say that? I sort of want to steer them in a certain direction, but I don't really want to put it on paper and be like, that's what my sims need to do. I sort of want to give them their own free will. <laughs> Yes, I know there are things in my computer and not real people and I shouldn't really be thinking about this as much as I am, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably not the only one attached to my sims, <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> okay, so I found these two. Oh, sorry, I just zoomed out. I found these two um, like this. How do I leave? Okay. Like the cam the camera mode is new to me. <laughs> uh, you have to like press the tab button or something, and then all of this goes away, and you can sort of see them. You can make screenshots and all of that. Oh my god! Okay, but it's a new thing for me, <laughs> so I kind of have to figure out how that works. But I needed to figure that out because when I do the more story telling bits that are edited and all of that I don't want the like this uh, bottom half of the screen to show because that just doesn't, doesn't look as nice but I found I need to learn their names I found Stacy and Mallory I thought their names was like were the other way around I thought this was Stacy but that's Mallory Stacy and Mallory I found them like that on their own which is really cute because they're twins and they should really have that I guess special bond and I put up the walls because otherwise you would see this in the background and that's yeah that's <laughs> that's an interesting background <laughs> right there okay so it's almost bedtime and oh snob lesson Emily is a snob snob sims love to critique the work of others <laughs> yes she does <laughs> and prefer the companionship of fellow snobs so maybe I can find like a club for her or something with fellow snobs. I don't know. I feel like that really is something she would join because she is kind of... I guess like Manali is one of those I want to be popular sort of people like insider. I, I figured out how to say this word like last time I messed that up so much and now I forgot again. Precarious? Is that it? I don't know. I oh, I forgot again. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> English isn't my first language. You probably already heard that from my accent. But uh, for anybody wondering, um, I'm not stupid. I can actually speak two languages. <laughs> that's something um, I always think about because when I speak English and I mess up, I always always feel really stupid. But then I think about the people who speak English as their first language. A lot of them only speak one language and I'm able to speak two languages. So not saying that the people that only speak one language are stupid, but I shouldn't be considered stupid because I messed up my second language. Um, I shouldn't be considered stupid at all, actually, but... You know, it's just something to think about. A different way of thinking about it. And I kind of want to send everybody to bed in a little bit. Even though they're not <laughs> that tired. But, I mean, they're probably a little jet lagged <laughs> at least. 
guess this is Europe and they're from America. So I just, I think I'm just sending almost everyone. Oh, nope, he isn't ready for that. <laughs> He's hungry. Why hasn't he? Oh, well, he can eat in the morning, whatever. But he needs to use the toilet first. Uh, sleep, there you go. I told her to sleep too. And these two need to sleep seriously. Like, I mean, I guess this is sort of their bedtime. I think eight is like an appropriate time. But the other ones are, they just arrived. So they're probably a little tired, even though that, ignore that. <laughs> I'm saying they're tired, so they're tired. <laughs> What was that talk again about using their free will? Mm. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm sending them to bed. It's very early in the morning right now. Um, it's actually, let me see, 5.38 in the morning. And Eve is the only one up right now. Um, and as you saw, there was quite a lot of drama happening <laughs> last night. Uh, when Melanie thought that everyone was asleep, she called Max. But it turned out that... Emily, I wanted to say Eve, but Emily wasn't asleep and she overheard their conversation. And it was quite a flirty conversation. And Max isn't the nicest boy in the world. I mean, I don't really know him, but he has like a bad boy reputation going on. So, you know, there might be something happening right now. But I think that um, Eve just kind of feels smothered by all of this being in a house with her parents who she doesn't really get along with she just divorced there's a lot going on in her head right now so i think she might go for a job eve has arrived at her destination even though she doesn't really know this town that well she wanted to go to kind of the center um, I'm guessing this is sort of the center. There's a lots of there's lots of things here, it's like a library and all of that. I really like this park, by the way. I don't know if it's kind of off topic a little bit, but this is like a chess park with like the life size chess, and I don't know. I like it. <laughs> sort of amuses me that they actually put that in. I didn't know that there were actual um, chess parks, like for real. I just thought there was some things. Someone, somebody made up but um, when we were at Santa Monica Pier in LA um, there was actually a chess park <laughs> so that surprised me but she arrived at this little cafe uh, where she's just going to get some coffee I guess so she's just getting her drink I think that's hers let's drink that what is she doing? Wait, wait, who's just walked in? Oh, that's, uh, um, what's he called? Marcus Flex? Yeah. <laughs> he is like one of those sims you always see. Just like, um, I guess Eliza Pancakes. I haven't seen her, I think. No, never met her. She must be like randomly generated. And, uh, Clara Bjorks and whatever you always see her Eve is back home <laughs> I just said her name very long Eve <laughs> and she is pretty dirty so I'm going to have her take a shower or I guess a bath because she doesn't have a shower so take bath and I'm also going to see how the other ones are doing oh and just to clarify um Emily actually saw 
or hurt Melanie calling with Max. And she knows what's going on and she should probably say something to Eve, just being like, hey, by the way, I just overheard your daughter and don't know if anything is happening. But her being Emily um, and maybe not always the nicest person. I, I don't want to say that she's not nice, but you no, know, she she makes decisions that I wouldn't make as a person. She might use it to. She might keep that information just to maybe use it in a certain way in a different situation. Maybe when they're arguing and she's, they're talking about how to raise your children, she might be like, "Yeah, well, you think you know how to raise children? Well." I overheard Melanie, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> and that's also why she was smiling when she heard the news. Or news, I guess, when she heard Melanie talking to Max. Um, because that's information she can use. <laughs> she is pretty manipulative, which is kind of surprising in, on, in like this age. But she also has a really nice side to her. It's just that sometimes that manipulating side sort of takes over. Yeah, that's sort of it. That's sort of like the clarifying I need to do, needed to do I needed to say that earlier but I completely forgot so I think it's time for no I think they're all ready but they all so cute they really do love each other oh wait wait oh no wow <laughs> like people who aren't Dutch don't have any idea what this says that's kind of cool um, <laughs> that I do know I mean, that's pretty gross, but I'm going, since they're like grandparents, but I'm going to take a screenshot anyway, because it's also sort of cute. Yeah. Okay. I thought they were just hugging, but they're actually kissing. But that's actually, that's, that's cute. I mean, they're in their own bedroom. I really love this pool. It's so big and bright. Like, wouldn't it be lovely to have in your own yard? <laughs> I also really like this elephant. Like, seriously. Oh, that's... I'm gonna put up the walls just for our reasons. Um, oh, just look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, and the girls are in school, by the way. They're doing summer school because, you know, their mother divorced that year. So it wasn't the best year for them. I really love that top. It's a custom content. I will link the video down below of my custom content showcase thing. But I really love that pattern and that top. It's just great. But they're doing summer school because they didn't do great this year. So they're just making up some lost time. And what is Eve wearing today? I'm just curious. I said that like it, she was wearing something really bad. It's all custom content, by the way. But it's Max's match, so you might not see that straight away. I really like that. I think it's a jumpsuit. I think it's one piece. Oh my god, she didn't take a bath. <laughs> Okay, so um, I guess that's really all there there is to do for now. I'm going to fast forward until the um, kids are home. Okay, so a couple of things. The girls are back and um, Drew actually got dangerously tired anyway. I thought that swimming would be safe, but apparently it's not. So I might just have to be very careful with that. So they all got C's. Which is pretty, I mean, that would be normal because it's actually the first day at school, like in the Sims lifetime. And I think that she might want to text Max as soon as she got home. I don't think she's actually really that interested in him. It's not like she's falling in love. But no, it's, you know, it's exciting. <laughs> Meeting a new boy on the other side of the world. And he is sort of a bad boy. And Melanie really likes to... Um, if you hear that, that's my dog. He's probably dreaming. So he makes like weird sounds. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> um, Eve actually took a bath this time. And she is chatting with Melanie. But... I I think Melanie might not be super happy. Let's see. What would she do? Something mischievous? Ooh. Like, spread a nasty rumor? I don't know if her mom would fall for that. But maybe she would be like, yeah, you know what happened at school? And then something totally fake. I feel like that would be something she would do. She is focused. 
so she's not the nicest person right now oh she is going to be mean <laughs> that is not oh Stacy be careful okay well this is going to get very very interesting because she is using her computer first of all without asking and second of all I don't think she can use uh, Melanie's computer at all so let's just yeah I think Melanie wouldn't be very happy with that not that I'm saying that if your sister uses your computer uh, you need to do that but I think like Melanie had a, has a lot of issues right now and she isn't the nicest person so I think she might just be a little angry and when I say a little a lot angry with her little sister right now. Is she coming upstairs? What is happening? Oh no, she's still standing there. Okay. Oh, sorry. <sighs> it keeps happening. I actually made um, Drew take a nap just to see if that would change anything. I hope so. And how is Eve doing? Eve is actually pretty happy. It's going okay. Um, yeah. I actually really want her to meet someone, um, someone new, like a love interest, a summer love sort of thing. I think that would be very interesting. I think that Melanie just, she's not, is this, okay, there we, there we go. Eve still had like an interaction going or something, sort of a block. Okay, no, oh, I want to see this. I want to see this. <laughs> Oof. This is not going to be pretty. Oh. Are they gonna go at it? <laughs> that is kind of cute, actually. That's such a sister thing to do, to sort of push each other. Be annoying. In the meantime, Mallory is just doing her homework. Oh, what a sweet child. And chatting with her grandma. That's really sweet. Eve can talk to... Let's see. Maybe like a friendly thing, but sort of... Maybe have like a deep conversation. Why she did that to her sister. And maybe encourage her to do some homework too. Let's see. Lecture about responsibilities. That's like the perfect thing to do. <laughs> Thank you, Sims. I don't know what is happening. Like they're sort of bugging out. I think Melanie needs to cancel everything too. And then she might start moving. But for now, she's just... Frozen. Is she gonna do something? Oh, she's angry. But I'm gonna make her do her homework anyway. That's a really late response, by the way. So, I think Melanie might do her homework after she talks to her mom. Her mom would probably be like, you know, telling her that she needs to do her homework. Um, you know, sort of saying something along the lines of maybe something like you know you already messed it up um, and there isn't any chance after summer school so you know you do have to graduate and all of that so she might just be telling her all of that and maybe I mean it's not like Melanie is a bad person oh that's so cute I totally need a picture I totally need a picture like seriously that's oh wrong button see i'm still working out the <laughs> she's like so you need to do this and you need to do this <laughs> oh that's so cute oh why is he being mischievous wait who's who's getting called <gasps> okay that is an interesting call so, that's sort of a cliffhanger because I don't think she can go to the nightclub. I don't think she's allowed to. So, if you do want to see what happens next, first of all, there will be a cliffhanger at the end. So, you might want to wait for that. And also, I think that's it. Um, I'm going to say goodbye now and then there will be like a, another story 
part after this. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye!